if you are new to my channel, here's your previously on Tom Choo Choo. I used to be a mukbanger, and then I quit to start keto, and then I got a horrible keto rash, so I stopped. So I have been posting my old mukbang videos before I lost all my old videos due to merging my personal account to a brand account. I lost everything, and now I'm building it back from scratch. Loser. With that said, please like, share, comment, and subscribe so I can move on with my story. Choo choo! <coughs> Hello, Hi guys! guys. <laughs> it never works. <laughs> Next time, we're gonna have to come back something new for this yeah. channel. Gosh, yeah, if you say. guys have any idea of how to intro this, leave a comment below. We're doing Popeyes right this time. <sighs> we didn't do it right last He didn't do it right last time. Well, we pretty much tried everything besides the chicken. Yeah, <laughs> which is not what people get. Whatever. Get so, we don't have an agenda today so we decided to just go all out on the chicken and if we have something to think about or talk about then we'll shout it out yeah yeah let's dig in plates we don't i don't thanks have for the plate yep plates. napkins from costco <laughs> sponsor us yes <laughs> yay drumsticks okay. oh you're going for it did mm -hmm. you get spicy you did not i good you did it mm -hmm. i good Focus? Is this focusing? No, nope, it's not focusing. Well, there's no red. You have to do this and then just put it on your face. It's not a makeup brush. But look, it is focusing here. Mm. Oh, I bought you sauces. Uh, there's the buttermilk ranch sauce. Yay, my favorite. That's so good. And uh, blackened ranch sauce. What's that? Pepper? Pepper ranch? I think so. Black and ranch sauce. I don't know what that is. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm so hungry. Mmm. I'm so crispy. You should put the mic closer. So I could just hear everything. Trust me, the mic is very uh, clear. Loud? Yeah. Because I put it even closer than last time. Mmm. I was watching Twitch. Do you know? I was going to talk to you about Twitch. Really? Yeah. What about it? That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you about Twitch because my friend told me I should stream. Because mm. there's like a... I don't game. I only know Mario Party. But apparently on Twitch, you can play games or you can just do like the just chatting. Yeah. Right? And yeah. you can just like talk to your viewers. Mm -hmm. um, and apparently people donate. Like they're very generous with donations or something like that. Yep. Yep. That's crazy. I know. Why don't we do that? Because a lot of time live streaming, like you have to constantly talking to the lens, and you know sometimes people just don't answer. Like what we're doing right now, but exactly. So why don't we do that? <laughs> but Twitch has more of a bigger audience when it comes to gaming. So if you're just live streaming, it might be a bit hard. Yeah, I heard you have to like build your fan base like from the yep. start. Yep. Unless you move over your like Instagram, for example, followers over or there. Twitter or YouTube. Mm. Yeah. And then so I'm thinking about like start doing Twitch for World of Warcraft. Wow. If you guys want to see Boring. me playing World of Warcraft, you know, <laughs> please leave comment below. But I will still definitely going to eat with my sister. Maybe I can play and you can sit right next to me and you eat. You can play and I can eat. Yeah, exactly. We can be on each other's channel. I don't have a channel. I know, later on. If you start, if start you're one? thinking about like, doing Twitch, <sighs> of course. Oh, I don't know. I feel like it's so like game focused that unless I do that, no one's mm -hmm. going to want to watch me eat or talk about it. If you don't play that game, your humor might get too dry and people just won't understand you. <laughs> you don't game? I don't understand you. No. Yeah. So good! Yeah, I'm going to dip with a black, black, black and, and ranch. ranch so. It's not even black. I don't know. They it's say like that. orange. Ooh! Ooh! Wow! Oh, wow! Juicy. Mm. You should have gotten it. Eat on that. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I usually pick like smaller pieces. We're just gonna go in. Just gonna go for it. Mm. You wanted to eat KFC, I don't know why. I was going to do a battle between the KFC and Popeyes. Now you're in a battle. <laughs> That's a massacre. 
Yeah, but I realized, yeah, I don't really like the KFC here. But I do love KFC in, in Taiwan. Taiwan. The best. Yeah. They had like cream of corn soup, mm -hmm. chocolate covered strawberries. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so good. They even have the pork turkey egg tarts. Pork turkey? Pork turkey? Pork turkey. Portuguese? Portuguese, yeah. Whatever. I'm not from there, so I don't know how to mm -hmm. pronounce that. It's good, right? Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. We should eat like fried Oreos. We should deep fry like Oh. Really? Mm. One time I had three. Oh, so I you almost had it. died. Oh. Well, don't have three. <laughs> but, we should, <laughs> but we should fry like different things. But you should go to the fair. OC fair. I'm they have. Go. Yeah, they have the fried butter and fried Oreos. Fried butter? Mm hmm. Like a butter bar? Mm hmm. How do you fry that without it melting? They first uh, batter it and uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. and then it's just going to deep fry. I love butter though. But that thing is scary and people eat it. That's gross. I'm not going to do that. Ooh, give me some bread and I can do it. So how's your day? I didn't do anything today. I just stayed home and I went on a shoot mm -hmm. and I came here. Well, okay, and what was the shoot about? It was just like um for a clothing company. Ooh, ew, that's so greasy. It's like dripping oil. Isn't that kind of dripping oil that you like? Yeah, but I don't want like a mouthful of just oil. Mm. Do you have any upcoming trips or plans? I was thinking about that. Um, I want to go to Vegas. I always go to Vegas once a year for sure. I mean, cause I have friends that lives there. Shout out to Brett and Mark. Mark is in uh, Magic Mike Live. And my friend Brett, he is um, a performer at Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Wait, I was joking. Oh, <gasps> that's insane. He is uh, one of the greatest acrobats and uh, the riff at Wayne. Wayne? Win? Win. Win. W Y N N. Well, you know what? I don't really get rooms there, so I can butcher whatever that name is. <laughs> Unless you want to sponsor me, Win. Oh, now you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you ever had like reoccurring dreams? No. Wait, what? Reoccurring? Yeah. Like. Like. The same dreams. Yeah. When yeah, I was fifteen. I have. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? I don't remember now, but I would have the same dream. And then I would think to myself, like, I've had this dream before. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I can wake up, like in the middle of the night or in the morning, and then I would be like, I want to keep dreaming, like continue that dream. And I just knock back out and I can continue it. Mm. Does that happen to you? No. I can continue my dreams, like where I left off. I had the same dream growing up for a while, uh, since I was 12, ever since we moved to... Oh, multiple times? When multiple times for a year. Uh, oh, for, no, no, no. For a couple of years. That's only happened to me twice. I've only okay. like, seen it again one more time. Yeah. Wait, what was it about? I was chasing... I, well, I was swimming in the ocean and trying to reach to a shore. And it's a nightmare. So I I was chased by a shark. Oh, you always talk about this. Yeah. I always but it's always that same exact situation. Same moment. And, oh, that's so weird. Yeah, and then this shark were always chasing like behind me but before I wake up the shark will turn his head to somewhere and then pull someone else underwater and that's when I wake up it's not a good dream like you're lucky just yeah but that's like a very lucky but you moment s but in they the dream you were else <laughs> a survivor yeah but in the dream you just panic because you keep swimming try to reach to but the shore what like, in that dream, when you have it again, aren't you just like, okay, I've been here before, it's fine, we're just gonna chill. No? no. <laughs> because oh. it's, um, because the shark is still chasing you, <laughs> and you wouldn't know until later on when he drags someone else, and you're back, oh, it's the same dream, and oh. then you woke up. <laughs> because you always wonder if this time oh. it was going to oh, be oh, you. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Wow, yeah. maybe when you have it again, there'll be a plot twist. <laughs> it takes you. <laughs> That's why my biggest fear is sharks. I not, didn't know that. Not snakes, not cockroaches, not whatever. Actually, yeah, sharks are really scared. I'm yeah. scared of the ocean. Like, what's underneath the ocean? 
You never know. Ocean. Your best friend lives in there. <coughs> okay, so sharks are your worst fear. What else are you scared of? I didn't know you were scared of sharks. <laughs> Not much. I don't really scare out much stuff. How about you? Mm. Are we talking about like animals? Like insects, animals, whatever? Mm -hmm. mm. Spiders? Yeah. <laughs> I cup spiders in the house. Really? Yeah. I love putting spider on my hand. Do you really? Yeah. So if you see one right now, you'll like play with? Yeah. If Not the venomous one. Not the, one. Bomb, not the, not bomb, the black widow. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. No. I think they have one too many legs. That makes it scary. Mm -hmm. Oh, your pile is so clean. Yeah. I don't like to eat like the just fried stuff. I mean, I love the skin, but not when it's like at the edge, like where it's near the bone. It's just like four yeah. Mm. But I love crispiness. I'm surprised you liked it. You like soggy fries. I'm surprised you don't like soggy chicken. No, I love crispy stuff too. Oh. But when it comes to fries, I like the soggy fries. I think, like in and out French fries, is not something I love about. Because they are too crispy. They're so and good. They're too thin. Okay, you like McDonald's fries? Yeah. I mean, I like McDonald's fries too, but I said that because I know they have soggy fries sometimes. <laughs> and that's gross yeah. that you like it for that reason. Oh, Burger King fries are really, really good. Yeah? We should do a fry test from we different, do... from different uh, fast foods. Let us McDonald's. know if you guys want us to do... No, they don't have to want it. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I just recently watched uh, the first season of Concept I don't think Girl. I need a whole one. Gossip Girl? Mm -hmm. You watch Gossip Girl? I just watched the first season of it. Why? Uh, I've never seen Gossip Girl. All gays talk about Gossip Girls. Oh my god. And uh, I always feel I was left out. So oh. finally, there's one time I decided to be like, you know what? Since it's on Netflix, might as well just watch it. Yeah. I think you'll like New Girl. Oh, do you like The Office? I love The Office. I hate The Office. Why? I hate it. It's so boring. It's like dry, dumb. The chicken just. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the jaw drop because I said I hate the office. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's like really boring, dry humor. It's just so dumb. I don't know. It has a lot of sarcasm in it too. I love sarcasm, but I just think it was so funny. I don't know. A lot of my friends love the office. I give you that. Like there are times I'm like, why am I watching? Why are they so stupid? It's like something you play in the back. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't want that. I <laughs> want something I played in the front. I liked hmm, Riverdale, Grey's Anatomy, of course. <gasps> really? <gasps> yeah, why? You, you finished the whole thing? Of course. Oh, okay. I didn't watch it after some stuff happened uh -huh. in the show. Uh -huh. And then once that happened and then the new season came up, I tried watching the first one and it was just not the same. Like, I hated it. It was so boring. Okay. But I definitely watched, like, all the way through until that end point. Okay. Yeah. Did you watch that all? I watched it till like the third season and I, don't remember I was season. like, I'm done. Wait, what happened? No, because I, my biggest problem is I just cannot get Be into a series. Yeah, I can't binge watch or if That's I really so need funny. to watch it, I have to watch it with 1.5 speed. Oh my God. Like, Wait, that's really funny because I'm like, I'm, I get sad when it ends. Like I've, I've. <laughs> Like, I've come to the point where sometimes like, I'm so invested in a show that I look forward to watching it every single day. And then once I hit, like, the last episode, I've actually cried before. That's devastating. It's, like, part of your what, life. What, what, what did you cry of? Like, what show, show it was? Yeah. I don't remember, but it's happened a few times. Even, like, drama, like, Taiwanese drama. Oh, my God, when it ended, I was like, no, like, this is a big chunk of my life for the past, like, month. And now it's all gone and it's different. You know, I, I always have this question come up. Sometimes you're just nonchalant about your life and all of a sudden someone starts hating you. Why? You're talking about in general. In general. Oh. Why? Like, what are the things that you might think people just all of a sudden start not liking you for no reason? I mean, there obviously is a reason. You just don't know what it is. But it could just honestly be anything. Do you want me to list a bunch of things that it could possibly be? Mm -hmm. Sure. Why am I eating? It could be. <laughs> Um, it could be the way you talk, the vibe you give. No, I'm not saying you, I'm saying in general, like anybody. Um, it could be like the way you look, for example, or 
it could be the way you talk, the personality, the vibe and you, that you give off doesn't really match what like they would look for in a person or simply because they don't agree with your viewpoints or insecurities. I feel like it could also just be like a jealousy thing. There's people out there like that who, you know, oh, that person's more successful. Like, they're not all that, you know, they're, they're just, you know, they blah, say blah, things blah, like blah, that, blah, yeah. Blah. Haters. The reason why I brought this up because I recently encountered an incident where an artist was creating this art and then she posted it on Facebook and everyone saying, I love the art, it tells a story, it tells, like, it gives out creativities and stuff. And someone, just a random person that we, we all knew, decided to just comment and say, wow, you really have a lot of time to make this art. Like, you don't really need to make money, but just do this. Like, in a very, I guess in a very sarcastic way, but... How do you, okay, see, that's a thing. Text can be misconstrued in any situation if it's not spoken verbally. Yeah. You don't really know how they're saying it. They could just be saying like, I wish I had that much time. To, you know, I see the line yeah, in every even, situation. I'm just trying to make this better. <laughs> yeah. That person's probably just an ass. <laughs> yeah, I just felt uh, that that line was just very bitter and jealous and, mm. and, and gross. Yeah. And I got so mad. You? No, I got so heated. Are these like close friends? Or no. you just have a lot of feelings? I probably have a lot of feelings. <laughs> but I just got so mad because... No, there are people like that though. When someone was creating art and investing themselves so much, they want to get appreciated somehow. Yeah. But you can't just... Because you are indirectly hurting that person's feeling. Saying, oh, you have so much time not doing what you're supposed to do. Instead, you are doing this thing. That doesn't even make money. Oh. Only rich child can do this. Why? I know. Why, why, why? I know. Then I will. I was like, why? Oh, you commented in it. I decided. Yeah. Don't so, get involved. So I decided to say some people make art so they can tell a story, not because they want to make money. Yeah. And Did then so, apply? so the artist decided to say. Hey guys, calm down. I'm just here to make, you know, art and then try to convey. Oh, the artist. Yeah, that. yeah. No, I... sometimes with those, you just you can never like you'll never come to terms with the same like viewpoint as that person. Yeah. At times, you just you you can't fix stupid, <laughs> and you just have to just walk away from it because you just can't. Exactly. I think that's how I felt too. I was like, you know what? You don't understand how an artist would feel. Like the arts that we're creating, even now people are not viewing as much or, or reading it or appreciating it as much. Mm -hmm. It still takes time for that person to create. Yeah. And the fact that someone who just bash, like lashing out something, a bad comment like that, it just hurts people. Very like, hurt, ignorant. Yeah, hurts artists. So, yeah. I guess that's anyone in general though. Like people don't know what goes behind the scenes. They mm -hmm. just want to like tear you down because they see a little bit of like... Um, attention or success in what you're doing and yeah, yeah you to can. shout out to the artists out there don't let that get to <laughs> you eat more fried chicken <laughs> <laughs> hashtag no sponsor <laughs> um, what is going on but today was today's filming was pretty last minute yeah it was kind we're, of we're a little bit busy mm -hmm. um, yeah. for the upcoming days but it happened yeah and we still got to be here to chat so yep. And on that note, thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Mm -hmm. and Comment something below, let us know what you want to see next and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye. <laughs> God! <laughs> we need to think we of need something, something else. else. <laughs> like an outro. <laughs>